Good morning, guys. Uh, it's a beautiful day here in Durban. Um, and guys, I uh, just want to share something with you. Um, it's been on my heart for the last week or so. And I really feel strongly um, during this season that, um, that we're going through. Um, it's really difficult. And um, I, I, I just feel strongly that the, that the Lord wants me to share this uh, with you. Um, just to, to, to maybe help a little bit better on how we can stay strong. Make sense? Anyway, um, the title of my message is The Armor of God. And we're reading from Ephesians 6, verse 10 to 17. A final word, be strong in the Lord and in His mighty power. Put on all the God's armor so that you will be able to stand firm against all the strategies of the devil. For we are not fighting against flesh and blood enemies, but against evil rulers and authorities of the unseen world, against mighty powers in this dark world, and against evil spirits in the heavenly places. Therefore, put on every piece of God's armor, so you will be able to resist the enemy in time of evil. Then after the battle, you will still be standing firm. Stand your ground, putting on the belt of truth and the body armor of God's righteousness. For shoes put on the peace that comes from the good news, that you can be fully prepared. In addition to all of these, hold up your shield of faith to stop the fiery arrows of the devil. Put on salvation as a helmet and take up, take up the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. That, that, takes a, that, that, that sounds a lot to take in, but it's actually quite simple. Um, when, we, when, we, when we say it, and we, when we choose to, 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 to follow God, and we've, we've made Him our Lord and Savior, um, we enter a spiritual war. Okay, nothing pretty about it. Um, because... While we were unsaved, while we were still of the world, um, the devil was quite happy. He was where we were where um, he wanted us to be. Um, so he left us alone, the thing, and off he went, you know what I'm saying. But now we've decided to turn the other way and follow Christ, which doesn't fit well with him. He doesn't like it, and he will try anything to stop us or hinder us from what God has for our lives and entering the kingdom of God. That is why it's very important for us to, take, to stand ready and be ready and recognize the strategy of the enemy. And it's a daily thing, it's a daily walk. It's, a, it's, it's not a, I put the armor of God on this morning, um, and I'm a kid in six months. No, you have to be ready. You have to put the armor of God on every single day. Like I said, over the last week or so, um, I've been doing meditating on, on the scripture, and the one day that I did it, I actually read the scripture late. But before I read the scripture and before I put the armor of God on, I started getting irritated. I started getting angry. I started, um, started panicking. I started every all these things were going through my head because I had forgotten to put the armor of God on in the morning. So I quickly put on. The, I read. I read the word. I read the scripture. I did my prayer. And you know what? After that, everything started going smoother for me. Because I was prepared. I recognized the strategy of the enemy. Because when, 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 when we just miss it once, when we forget, or you'll see how things sort of um, start going wrong. And, 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 and the enemy, he moves in, in subtle ways. 
And when we look at when we look at game, it's too late. We we started falling away. We started getting angry. We started we started doing things of the world instead of our crust. Does that make sense? Um, that is why we put on the belt of truth. Belt of truth. The truth about the word. The truth about God. The truth about our Savior and His character. So when the devil said, comes and says, but did God really promise you that? We can turn around and say yes, because it's in His word. We know our Savior. We know our Father. And the devil cannot come and say, hey, but you know what he didn't say? He, he did say, because I know my Father. That is the belt of truth. We've got to put the armor, the body armor of God's righteousness so we can resist, it, so we can resist the enemy. Um, because then again, the righteousness he will try and 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 get us to 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 misinterpret, to to doubt the 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 the, the character of our Father. All right. We gotta put on put on the shoes of peace. We can only come from God. Remember, uh, uh, I think about a week or so ago, I, 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 I did a I did a talk on I did a message on peace, and God can only give us peace. That even we've got to put on the, the shoes of peace because we've got to walk, it's sort of like we've got to walk along our journey. And um, along our journey, we're going to walk into trials because God said that in, 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 in Matthew 16, verse 33, it said that we're going to have many trials. So we've got, and he, but, only, but when we go through that trial, we've got the shoes of peace. So God gives us the peace that. Even even when the enemy comes and tries to dismantle us, we will stand strong because we are at peace with what's going around us. Right? Um, and then let's pick up let's pick up and hold up our shields of faith, of faith that our Father will do what He says, our faith that our Father loves us. Um, and then put on the helmet of salvation. That is our salvation when we gave our life to the Lord. The, the the victory and the power and the and the and the and the the, 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 the covering that comes with salvation. And then lastly, let's pick up the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. This book here, you it? This book here. It's the word of God. It is a very powerful tool. Very powerful. Not tool, not tool, not tool is the wrong word. It's a very powerful weapon to resist the enemy. However, you need to know what is in the word. It's saying you have to recite every single verse. That you have to know. But you have to know what your father is telling you. But remember, the devil also knows the word. He also quotes the scripture in a word. When he tempted Jesus on the mountain. <clears throat> um, so that's my place. I've got this just somewhere. Um, Matthew 4, verse 5 and 6 says this. Then the devil took him to the holy city, the, to the holy city of Jerusalem, to the highest point of the temple, and said, If you are the Son of God, jump off. Here it comes. Here it comes. Listen. For the scripture said, this is the devil talking to Jesus now. The devil is quoting the Bible, the word, to the living word. Yeah? See how clever he thinks he is. Okay? So, for the scripture says, he will order his angels to protect you, and they will hold you up with their hands, so you won't even hurt your foot on a stone. It's in the word. Quoted in the word, but you can go look in the word. And then Jesus responded and defended himself with the word of God, because he is the word in the flesh. And he says, this, uh, at verse 7 it goes on to say, the scriptures also say, you must not test the Lord of God. So, when, even the time when, when, when the devil comes and he says, but it says this in the word. We need to know the word and stay strong in the word and lift up the sword of the word and say, yes, it does say that, but it says this. 
also. That is why we're not going to do and follow your ways. Because we have to follow the Lord your God. It says it in the Word. Because it says further in that chapter, just after this, he, he, the devil actually tempts him again and says, No, what? I'll give you everything but you need to bow down to me. But Jesus is like, What? You mad? It says in the Word, I will only, I will only serve the Lord your God. Now get off of me. And Satan disappeared because he had the word of God, the sword of truth, and the sword of, of uh, his, his sword, which um, is the word. So, although we know victory is ours, although we know at the cross we've got freedom, the cross we've got, so it's a bit of reality, I'm a note flying everywhere. Um, although we know all of that, we still have to constantly be alert because it says uh, I can't remember where it says it but it says in the word that the, that, that the devil is like a prowling lion waiting for someone to devour um, so the minute we, we, we relax become complacent um, the minute we we, we, we we let our guard down that's when he pounces and he takes you out because we've let our guard down so we need to constantly be alert we need to be of sober mind putting on the armor of God so we can resist any attack from the devil and like I said earlier it's a daily walk it's a, it's a, it's a daily fight but we know at the end we know how it ends Our Father is and will always be victorious, no matter what we go through. We have to put on the armor of God to stay strong in our trials and tribulations. Because it's at that moment, during those trials and tribulations that you go through, that we go through, that I'm going through, that our family, everybody goes through trials and tribulations somewhere along the way of our, of our walk with God. But, victory is ours at the cross. That's what it is. At the cross. With Jesus Christ giving His life for you and me. We have to be strong, we have to be faithful, we have to be humble, we have to be content, we have to be alert, and put on the full armor of God. Guys, um, yeah, so, you guys have a blessed day, and yeah, I hope you find this encouraging. Um, you can go over if you miss a video or you want to, to, to see more um, what, what God is doing and what God is saying to me. Um, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's uh, Quentin Linford. Uh, this is my name, my surname. You can search it on, 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 on YouTube. Um, subscribe to my channel. I do have a couple of other messages that, that um, I have shared. Um, and yeah, uh, and. We have a blessed day. Cheers. Bye.